Hello viewers, here I am Professor Bimal, Department of Accounting. Today's my topic is absorption costing. I will focus on a particular point of absorption costing that is over or under application or absorption of fixed factor overhead in manufacturing cost under absorption costing. First, we try to know what is fixed factory overhead under applied or over applied. Absorption costing is a method of valuation of stock where direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead. That means all variable manufacturing cost and fixed cost are included in manufacturing cost. If there is a variance between applied fixed overhead and budgeted fixed factor overhead, only then the question arises whether fact fixed factor overhead is under applied or over applied. When standard rate of fixed factor overhead is used to calculate unit cost of product is called fixed factory overhead is applied. Now, how you will get to know is there any under or application over application of fixed factory overhead or any variance between applied and actual overhead cost. If actual production is under or above budgeted production or normal production, there must be uh, under or over applied of fixed factory overhead. Not necessarily you will encounter variance every time. If standard costing is followed to calculate manufacturing cost or if rate of fixed factor overhead is given or if normal capacity or budgeted production is given you will encounter under applied or over applied fish factory overhead. Now, how to calculate variance? If fish factory overhead rate is given, that is fine. If not given, first we have to calculate fish factory overhead rate, uh, budgeted, debating uh, budgeted fixed factory overhead by normal capacity we get fixed factory overhead rate and multiplying uh, production uh, by that rate uh, with overhead applied. Uh, there is no question of uh, under or over application or absorption of fixed factory overhead rate in direct costing because in direct costing uh, fixed factory over, overhead is not a part of uh, manufacturing cost. Now we see how to adjust fixed factor word over applied and fixed factor word under applied. If there is a fixed factor overhead over applied, uh, this amount should be uh, deducted from standard cost of goods sold. And if there is fixed factor overhead under applied, uh, the amount should be added to cost of standard cost of goods now sold. We, uh, we see on the board uh, here is uh, the over or under application of fixed factor overhead uh, uh, when uh, actual fixed factor overhead is greater than apl applied fixed factor overhead it is called uh, under applied fixed factor overhead. When actual fixed factor overhead is less than uh, applied fixed factor overhead then it is called over applied. Now we uh, will see uh, some examples. On here uh, production 45,000 units, normal capacity 50,000 units and there is a difference between uh, production and normal capacity. So, uh, in absorption costing there must be a uh, variance uh, in fact, fixed factor overhead. Here annual fixed factor overhead uh, 50,000 and normal capacity 50,000 
and the fixed factor over the rate will be 50,000 divided by 50,000 uh, 1 per unit uh, fixed factor will be applied will be according to production here production is 45,000 units uh, so uh, fact, factor fixed factor will be uh, 40, 45,000 um, at the rate of taka 1 annual fixed factor rate is 50,000 so fixed factor rate over it is under applied by uh, 5,000 here uh, fixed factor over it applied is lower than the annual fixed factor over it, so fixed factor over it is under applied then uh, here is a problem here fixed overhead is 150000 and normal capacity normal volume 150000 the rate is given 1 so, uh, but uh, production in first year is 170000 and in second year 140000 in first year uh, the production is higher than normal volume that is 150000 so there will be a over applied uh, fixed factor overhead of taka 20000 because uh, according to rate uh, fixed factor over it applied is 170000 at the taka 1 and in second year uh, uh, production is 140000 and uh, at the rate of taka 1 the overhead applied will be 140000 but actual fixed factor over it uh, is 150000 uh, in the first year uh, over applied fixed factor over taka 20 and in the second year overhead uh, is uh, over applied uh, uh, of taka 10,000 uh, here fixed factor over is higher than the uh, uh, fixed factor over it actual fixed factor over is higher than the uh, applied fixed factor over it here is a problem here uh, fixed factor over it applied 160,000 normal capacity 160,000 and rate is uh, taka 1 per unit uh, here is a uh, uh, funny problem he, uh, here production is not given uh, we can we we calculate production uh, um, that is 160000 but uh, f, f, uh, but normal volume but nor, or normal capacity is also uh, 160000 so there is no difference in volume uh, um, in uh, actual uh, production and uh, uh, budgeted production or normal capacity so there will be no variance uh, uh, in uh, fixed factor overhead or here uh, fixed factor word applied and actual uh, is uh, same so there will be uh, no variance or under applied or over applied of fixed factor overhead here is a problem here uh, fixed factor overhead is given uh, taka 30000 and uh, fixed factor overhead rate is given taka 4 and uh, production units here given 9000 if um, uh, according to rate um, uh, the fixed factor order applied will be 36000 here is 36000 but here annual fixed factor order is uh, uh, 30000 here uh, normal volume is not given but uh, uh, total fixed factor order is given so we can uh, uh, so we can calculate easily uh, uh, fixed factor overhead uh, uh, applied and uh, fixed factor overhead uh, under applied or over applied. Here fixed factor overhead is applied thirty six thousand, but uh, according to rate and production. But uh, uh, here uh, uh, fixed, uh, actual fixed factor overhead is total thirty thousand. Since uh, applied fixed factor overhead is higher than the actual fixed overhead. So, uh, here uh, the, the, uh, there will be a uh, fixed factor word over applied and so here is the solution of the problem one uh, what will be uh, what will be treatment of uh, over applied or under applied uh, of fixed factor overhead uh, in the first problem there is an under applied of taka uh, 5000 so this amount will be added to cost of goods sold in the second problem uh, uh, there there was fixed uh, factor overhead under applied and over applied in the first year fixed factor overhead was over applied that amount uh, should be deducted from cost of goods sold standard cost of goods sold but in the second year uh, there was a 
uh, under applied of fixed factor overhead that 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 will be added to uh, standard cost of goods sold. In the fourth problem, uh, there was a uh, fixed factor over, over applied uh, of taka 6000 that is also to be deducted from standard cost of goods sold. Uh, last of all, uh, remember if there is no difference between actual production and budgeted production or uh, normal production, there will be no uh, under applied or over applied of fish factor overhead. It is it occurs only when uh, uh, actual production and budgeted production are, are different. Hope this episode uh, of absorption costing uh, will help to make you understand um, fixed overhead, uh, over applied and under applied and how to adjust uh, fixed factor overhead over applied and under applied. Uh, that's all. Stay safe. Goodbye.